Have you ever heard the expression, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link? Well, the same is true about computers. The security of your computer will only be as strong as the knowledge or the secureness of your less secure user. Let's say in your family, at work, guests, friends, sometimes they all use your computer and they don't know as much as you or sometimes they're a little careless. So what's an easy way to protect yourself? One thing you should know is when you create your main account on your computer, it is by default the administrator account. So basically this account can do whatever it wants. Anytime you see this symbol next to an option, that means you need the administrator rights, or often called admin rights. So basically, this is a super user. This account can do anything, okay? First thing first, always make sure it's password protected. If somebody breaks into your network, for some reason your computer becomes vulnerable, somebody steals your computer, you want to be to it to be password protected. Yes, there are way there are ways to work around it, but the harder it is for someone to break into it, sometimes the less chances they'll try to break into it or they'll just go through another computer that does not have a password. Okay, so you have a password for your administrator account. Now, you don't want your friends, family, guests to be able to install anything on your system or on your, like in my example, our family computer. So what you want to do is you want to create another account, okay? So let's go to manage another account. Guest account is not a good idea to turn on, okay? it's it's, it's there's a way to break into it, so let's just create a new account, okay? So I'm going to call this account family, it's going to be a standard user, so it will be able to do the main stuff, use software and anything, but anytime it wants to install something, it won't be able to without the administrator's permission. Create the account, we are going to set up a password for it, okay, so something very simple, usually helpful to Okay, in this case, that's my password. Never put your password as a hint, okay? People always do that. Don't. Stupid. Okay, so create the password. Perfect. The account's been created. Let's go check it out. So we're gonna switch users. There we go. Okay, it says this is not a genuine copy because I'm running this in a VMware window. It's easier for recordings and messing around with settings. So don't worry, this is not a hacked version. Okay, there we go. Setting up my desktop for the first time. Okay, so let's see what we can and can't do. Okay, so if I come here, computer, I want to manage it. Oh, there you go. I'm not allowed because this will affect core files or can affect core files, some um, settings that you don't want access. So there you go. You need administer your password to be able to run it okay so anything that has that symbol can be run through this account okay that's good that's secure that's more secure let's go see if we can find a file okay let's try to download or start 7-zip 7-zip is a good uh, substitute for winzip or winrar it's an open source project it's free to use and it's it's very powerful it can do pretty much anything you want it to do or any type of archiving systems. Okay, let's get 7-zip. As you can see, it said 32 or 64-bit. If you guys don't remember how to check, come here. It says it, 32-bit operating system. Okay, yes, I want to save the file. And let's run it. Good, same thing, it's asking for the admin password. Okay, let's say this is me and I want to install a new software. I'll just simply give it the password. And there you go, it will let us install it. So sometimes when you download um, files or when another user downloads files from shady websites, from shady sources, sometimes a virus, a malware will try to install itself on your system. If you are running it as a standard user and it wants to access some core Windows files, it won't be able to without the administrator password. Now if you really trust friends and family, you can leave it up somewhere for them to access it. But what I would do is I keep it to myself and if they want to install something on your computer, you need to be there for them to be able to install it. Sometimes it's a valid reason. Sometimes operating systems or antiviruses will give you a false positive. Sometimes it is a necessary product. Sometimes it's a right product. But sometimes it's a virus or a malware and you want to be able to have um, security towards that. Okay? So a chain is always as strong as its weakest link. This is the key fundamental point 
for computer security. You can have all the antivirus or anti-malware you want, but if your user keeps downloading viruses, you will get infected somehow. So this is an easy way to manage that uh, by just setting the user account. Okay. So make sure it's password protected. Make sure it says it's a standard user. If you're using the administrative account, uh, it basically has full permissions. Like right now, I can't change anything here without the administrator's password. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you've liked the video, please help us out by subscribing, hitting that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.